Hi everyone, welcome back to Coffee and Bible Time. My name is Taylor, if you're new here, welcome. Today's a very special video because you guys, I'm engaged. I can't even believe it. This is so fresh, this is so new. This all just happened last weekend and of course you guys have been on my mind through this all because you have really seen um, a lot of, well first of all, a lot of my life. Um, you've seen me grow up from freshman in high school all the way until now and I'm engaged to Isaac and he is the person that I am choosing for the rest of my life and um, Isaac has also spent some time on our channel so you have seen our relationship grow a little bit um, but now I feel like it's just the start of my life. Since I've gotten the ring, I'm like, I feel like this is just the beginning. Even though we've technically been there for each other for two years, it's just like, wow. Marriage is truly just the start and obviously there's hopes and dreams for so much of our lives and just being able to do ministry together, being able to start a family, um, just love a life together. I don't know. I'm excited to do even just like little things like cooking for him and baking and keeping a house and you know making a house a home and I'm just so excited for all of that and I feel like this season has just come upon me. For those of you that are wondering where Isaac is, sadly he could not be here. He is working right now. Um, him and I don't live actually that close to each other so we have to drive about, I mean at least for me a lot of times like an hour and 25 minutes to come see him if the traffic's okay less and also with that being said i know some of you guys are like wanting to know all about our story and about our relationship because we didn't have the most conventional relationship obviously we met in college but you know we grew a lot we ended up taking a break in the middle of our relationship we were broken up and there were still for both sides of us a desire for us to grow a lot individually but also we both really wanted to be with each other in the end and see if we could work through our problems and come back stronger and that's exactly what happened and it's been so great to nurture this relationship and just become that special someone for each other so if you want to hear all about our love story and more details we are putting up a podcast on our Coffee and Bible Time podcast, June 3rd. So June 3rd, you can mark your calendars or whatever, or just subscribe to our podcast. Um, Isaac and I are gonna be sharing our love story together and that's gonna be so exciting. Um, and honestly, it was so fun. We, it got deep, it got honest. He shared a, a lot of stories. So if you really wanna hear Isaac talk and you know, share about how he feels about everything going on and also our break definitely check out the podcast that's coming out next week it's kind of it's gonna kind of be a podcast exclusive about our story i want to close off this video by kind of sharing just a word of encouragement to those of you who are waiting for your special someone or even for those of you that are in a relationship or are married um, i think this could be a word for you too and that is ultimately you are the bride of christ and and that has to resonate and sit with you so deeply before you meet somebody and yeah i don't really feel like that truth hit me until i went on a break from isaac and he was growing in his own way and in my own way i felt like i was really 
just leaning into the book of Hosea, which I totally recommend for all the singles and for those of you that are in a relationship, but you're feeling a lot of discontentment or you are just needing to know that, you know, there's a heavenly father who loves you, cares for you, sees you through and through. Um, the book of Hosea is really great for that. And all that to say, um, once I felt like I understood that I was the bride of Christ, I was able to find a lot more peace in my soul with being single. And even in being a relationship, constantly reminding myself that our relationship isn't our everything and a relationship won't satisfy you fully. That's because we are the bride of Christ firstly and we're waiting for him to come again one day for us to be united with him. And once we are with God, we will finally feel at peace. Like that is when the deep soul peace is gonna come through. It's not gonna come from uh, somebody giving you a ring or from somebody telling you, you know, that they wanna spend the rest of their life with you. That's amazing, but ultimately, and even for Isaac, I know this is true, that we need to find our identity in him. And only when we do that, are we going to be able to live life more fully, have that joy that you wanna have, because our joy has to be found and rooted in God. And for Isaac and I, in that time apart, we really were able to assess where we were at and where we needed to be in order to come back together stronger. And that included not making each other our everything in our lives, but being confident with the mission and the purpose that God has for us individually before we come together. And so that's something that I'm working on all the time. And that's just my encouragement for you guys. If you're single, if you're in a relationship, don't neglect God's purpose for you, what he's doing in your life right now. And be excited about what that is because God has made you unique and there's no need to even compare yourself to anybody else's gifts or talents because if you are alive right now, that is because God has a unique purpose for your life. He wants to speak that into you. I would recommend reading the book of Hosea if you wanna learn more about God's relentless pursuit of you, um, God's relentless pursuit of all of us despite us not being worthy or despite us searching for other things. Because let me tell you guys, I wanted to be engaged, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have been longing for this. I have been longing for this. Um, but at the end of the day, Isaac is, is just God's good gift for me right now, but he isn't my everything. And with that also comes um, a load lifted off of him. He can be my special person, but I don't put the pressure on him to be my everything. This has all come through uh, us taking a break. There's so much to learn, so much to grow in with each other, and I hope that this is a good start. So if you want to hear more about our relationship, tune in June 3rd to our podcast. Um, I will have that link down below. You can subscribe to podcasts, I believe. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this very special video. Comment down below if you guys want to see wedding planning things if you want to hear my thought process as i you know transition into the season of becoming a bride um i'm totally interested in all that but i want to know what you guys want i think that now would be a good time in honor of isaac i know you can't be here peanut to do a little tiny slideshow of pictures from our relationship um that are just special and just make me sentimental because I have things logged from the past two years and yeah, you guys might get a kick out of them too. But with that being said, I love you all so much. I hope you feel encouraged. You mean so much to me, you having been on this journey with us and I hope to continue that for a very long time. Love you all, bye.
when did you know since getting back together that you wanted to propose to me? I don't know if there's a specific time, but for me, it's like I only date slash dated people with the intent to marry. I believe that's the right way to do dating. I don't believe in, you know, finding people to just chat with, waste time with, and then it's like, oh, if something happens, it happens. I don't think that's a very loving way to date someone. Your intent is to not mess with someone's heart or yeah. waste yeah, their I time. Don't, yeah. I don't think that's very biblical. So I, from the very beginning, had the intent to marry you. Um, it wasn't until like the relationship.